This video is for a pastor's wife that's having issues in her home. And the reason why is because your husband is away from home a lot. And even when he is at home, he's on the phone most of the time counseling. When you guys do have a conversation, it's mostly about church business. I have experienced it in my marriage for many years. And I know how you feel. In this video, I'm going to share three tips with you to help you cope with having a busy husband. <laughs> Tip number one, the understanding. The reason why he spends so much of his time in the ministry is because he is passionate about his calling. I understand and know that a lot of times you feel like you are last on the list or that your needs are not important, but don't take it personal. What's going on is that he loves what he does and it's hard for him to find a balance. A lot of the time when a pastor first gets started for the first couple of years or so is going to be like that because they are so excited. They don't know how to be temperate. So just have a little patience. <laughs> it took my husband a long time to learn how to balance his time with the ministry and also his personal life. So just have some patience with him and eventually he will figure it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you two more tips that's going to really help you. Tip number two, exercise. Exercising is not only good for your health, but it's also good for self-wellness too. It's great for stress. Exercising is great for your mental health and also for your mood. Exercising improves your sleep, sexual health, and also make you feel good about yourself. Tip number three, find something productive to do. One of the best things that I have ever done with my time was finding something productive to do. For example, once my children got old enough to start going to grade school, I decided to go to college. And once I start going to college, it helped me in so many ways. And one of the main things is that I felt good about myself. And the reason why is because I was doing something just for myself. And because a lot of times as a pastor's wife, you get so caught up with just serving your husband and taking care of your family until you think that's who you are, but not realizing that it's so much more to you than just being a pastor's wife. There's nothing wrong with serving your husband or being a pastor's wife, but it's just that I needed to know that I was more than that. That wasn't my only identity. I found that it was very important to not only improve myself as a wife, but also as an individual. While your husband is away from the home, it's a good time for you to develop a hobby or a skill. Developing a hobby or a skill can be therapeutic for you. For example, you can learn how to play an instrument. I play the keyboard and what I love about playing the keyboard is that sometimes when I'm practicing by myself and I'm playing a praise and worship song, by just listening to the music, it kind of like I feel closer to God. And just by listening to the music, it brings healing to my soul. And sometimes I can feel God's presence. Journaling is also good. It's very therapeutic. What I like about journaling is that 
when I'm writing down my thoughts, my feelings, I feel refreshed. I am very introverted and introverts, we keep things in. We think more than we talk. So I had a huge issue with just expressing myself or just talking to other women. Once I started my YouTube channel, it helped me in so many ways. It was very therapeutic for me and it taught me how to share, how to express myself, how to create content. It also became my first love. So what's so good about finding a hobby and falling in love with it is that you won't spend so much of your time focusing on how much time away your husband is from home or what he's doing or how how many hours of a day he's been with working in ministry. And hobbies too make you feel happy. And I believe that in life, that's one of the main things you should aim for is being happy and feeling fulfilled. So I want to encourage you to dig deep within yourself and try to rediscover something that you used to do that you loved or try to discover something new. So in the meantime, work on yourself, continue to support your husband and don't become a burden to him. If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I am hosting my first webinar July the 29th, and I will love it if you would come and join. If you are a pastor's wife, and you are struggling in certain areas of being a pastor's wife, you need to sign up for my webinar. The information is going to be below as well in my description box. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you tune in the same time next week for the next upload of Struggles of a Pastor's Wife.